and there's just two Nikos on the screen. Anyways, uh, here in SoCal, we never have a regular day. I'm not going to lie. Like we, always, There's an MSM, but there's always something big going on. Someone takes an L. Someone gets a W. We'll see who gets the W here, because Nico's going to go ahead and rock out the Joker. He's kind of been taking a really good fun to this character. He likes that he has a lot to learn from Joker, and he really enjoyed watching Leo at Gommel. I mean, there's a lot to love about this character. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, he's just so quick. A lot of people right out of the gate compared him to that Smash 4 Sheik type, right? Where yeah. there's just a lot less ending lag and, you know, uh, in some senses he can kill even without Arsene. But once he gets this man behind him, boy, you better look out. Yeah, and I'm going to be the one that just tell you the classic JoJo joke. Once you get the stand activated, you really do feel the power of it. For, mm. for Nico, though, it's really... I'm accustomed to him to go get used to whip punishings as opposed to uh, Shulk, where he was used to being more of a Ooh. front man, but he merely XX comes in with the roller. That's something Nico needs to respect, right? Is when you do get roller, there's the combo right after it. Yeah, I mean, especially, I mean, you were saying that, like, he's got to respect that he can get whiff punished because even though Joker's quick, some of those moves have got some end lag on him, especially mm -hmm. those down guns. When he was coming down, XX was ready to just put that roller on him and put on the hurt. Yeah, and w I was talking to Nico earlier, right? He was looking at MK Leo and how he played his Joker Alvar Agamo, so he's looking at some inspiration. And that's kind of one of those things he likes, right? He's known as the best Shulk, but he likes having inspiration from other players. He's able to use the Bullet Roll Storm right there to go hit down and also hit XX. Really good opportunity here for XX. Looking for the cross-up, setting up that back air. He knows what he must be going for against Nico at that point. Mm -hmm. But now off stage, you know... Nico has a chance to set him up at the ledge, but, you know, despite Nico have been having really good shield pressure, especially with Arsene out, he's been having trouble putting pressure on at the ledge where Joker normally really excels. Yeah, and that's kind of one thing that XX is kind of understanding, like, okay, if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna be at the ledge, I'm gonna have the rest of the stage on myself, come back, here's my back air, put you off the stage, Whoa. boots to the face, and that's 2v1 in stocks, man, XX up a whole three stocks. Yeah, dude, boot to the head indeed. XX, I mean, he's just looking so clean that you can see that he's much more familiar with this character. Yeah. I mean, that's, that looked like a shoulder up tilt right there to <laughs> just really finally get the kill. Nico is like, all right, look, he's got a little bit of the unfamiliarity with the character, right? You can tell that it's not clicking on all cylinders like the Shulk just yet because XX's defense is really good and Nico's got to adjust to that. But Ooh, so like far, got a chance to build a damage? I did like how he's going for a jab over the forward tilt. Forward tilt it does have a little bit of L mag, so you got to be careful when you're going for those moves. Jab seems to be one of the moves that you don't see a lot from Joker means. People usually like to go for forward tilt. It's kind of fast, a little bit cool down. Gets the jab in here. Here's the edge play. Immediately, I like the fact that let's go to the ledge. We'll wait to see how XX is going to recover. Trying to learn how to better edge guard Inkling. Wow, and I love that XX went for that reversal there off of the ledge. Normally, he had been coming off very conservatively, but this time, knowing that Nico has been trying to pick up these stocks there at the ledge, oh. mix it up. Paint was applied, man, but it wasn't ready to dry. Oh, and you almost got killed with a gun. The bullet storm, not going to be a full storm. It's a full, few shots short. Yeah, man. I mean, I would be surprised if Inkling got gimped <laughs> in that way. That is a that is a beefy recovery. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Okay, Good. splat bomb to cover, but it did not land on stage like he was intending. Still bought him enough time to actually get to ledge, and that's really all he needs. He just needs that one solid hit just oh. to finish this out. Uh, oh. He, oh, yeah. He knew he, knew he was going to commit to an area at that point. Usually, like, for, like we mentioned earlier, right? One of Joker's trend true game plans, go for back air to shield, possibly go for down air, right? He knows he's going for an out of shield option, so XX immediately know, okay, I got him on the shield pressure, I have him here, he wants my stock, he's going to go for a get off me option, he's going to go for an aerial, so I can just call it out with up smash and then proceed to the next game. And it, he knows that he just needs that one hit, and that's what was really impressive to me about the way that XX mm -hmm. played that whole game is that he built up that damage uh, very consistently throughout that entire game one without putting a lot of ink on Nico. It yeah. was really just a whole lot of straight, clean gameplay. Yeah, and then that's what I like, too. He's not really using the ink, and the one thing that I did like earlier is what should everybody should be looking for is if I'm coming back to the stage and if there's an edge guard phase, I need to make sure my opponent does something so I can get back to the ledge so they don't have to go off stage themselves, and that's tossing the splat bomb. If my opponent's holding shield, that gives me time to come back on the stage. It lets mm -hmm. me reset myself a little bit more. You know, right. pl plenty of time available to him. I mean, especially as Inkling, you've got a lot of options getting off the ledge, not only just getting back to it. Mm -hmm. Look at that right there, covering himself with the forward air, and he just fights for all of that stage position. All right, Nico looking for a grab here. I do understand that XX is also looking for a possible back air. That is the game plan. Go for back air, probably cross up, go for an air. First time we see a jab, a little bit of ink, very, very light, but nonetheless, Nico moving through. Yeah, it's just, you know, using that speed, using that evasiveness of Joker to get around and not really worry about the ink that's on him. Look, you can see that he's doing the same thing, trying to just space out some aerials, but now with Arsene, it's pedal to the metal time for Nico. Yeah. Okay, watch the out of shield play. XX had the call the last time. Ooh. Here's the roller and the up smash. Yeah. yeah. 
Saw that, uh, saw that Nico is definitely going for a pretty hard mash, so he didn't get the time to charge that up smash, and FD has a pretty high ceiling, so XX is going to have to connect something else. He's going to have to get on stage to get this ink back, and that border is going to give him the time to just get a little. Yeah, Nico 137, he's got to watch out. He's bringing it pretty close here. XX is, oh no, mash out as much as you can because he just missed that forward smash. Touch of death, we're not going to be full through. Yeah, I think XX just respecting that mash from Nico maybe a little bit too much in that situation because now it's looking like Nico could just be one back throw away at the ledge to just close out the stock and get himself mm -hmm. a lead. And as Joker, that is huge to be able to run away and use all of the defense that this character has available to him. Yeah, one thing I am noticing about Nico, he hasn't really conditioned XX to go for many of those options other than hold shield and know that he might make the commitment first. So for Nico, it's how do I get that back throw? Here's the down throw, not going to kill, not enough, even with rage and play. Nico has the right DI. Careful with the ledge play. I do see that he might have been trying to go for gun there, so he can slide himself back in there, but XX just knows one backer away, keeps the Joker away. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially getting around that attack over on the ledge, that means that Nico is going to have to commit to something like a roll to get around XX, so he had no chance to really do something at that high of a percent, but great anti here with that up smash once again, just to get away from this stock situation. Yeah. Down throw, gets the back air, pushes his man all the way. Corner carry, missing the grab, though. A little bit of space in that forward air. XX probably drifted back just to make sure he wasn't going to get punished out of the shield. I really like that XX has been using a lot more jab in this game on FD. Oh my goodness, hang on, that's Flat Bomb setting up so much. Oh, but Nico going to fire right back. Nico looking to make sure XX is not going to run with a 20 and a handshake. All right, sets up. At this point, for Nico, he needs to start understanding that XX is a little jump happy. He's looking for those back airs. He wants the he wants the disjoint, the safe space to make sure he, every damage he gets is as safe as possible. Oh, oh, the disrespect, man. Just catch him out of the shield while you can. Yeah, no, just right on the drop, too. It wasn't even punishing a whiff afterwards. <laughs> it was just, you're going to unshield. Mm, bam, now. All right. Chapter chapter 2, my opponent will unshield, but Chapter 3... My, I will get hit by up air, bringing it 1 to 1, 1% 1 on XX. I mean, he's definitely quickly turning it more to his favor, hopefully. I mean, like you said, once XX has that, like, 120, 130% area, all he needs to do is get Nico up in the air, and then Inkling's juggle game will take care of the rest for you. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, Nico having some trouble setting up juggles of his own, where Joker sometimes on FD can get some of those opportunities, especially once you put your opponent off the stage. But now, again, you know, pedal to the metal time once he can do it. Okay. But it is one thing, like, you get pedal the metal, man, but you do run out of the nitrous eventually because that gauge does to go down over time. You <laughs> have to respect Nico when he's got you on a ledge, man. This guy is Captain Clutch. Nico doesn't respect that recovery at all. Oh, he man. says, <laughs> I have two frames to hit this down air, and I am going to hit every single one of them. Yep, and exactly, making sure those two frames matter. Nonetheless, Nico, in some deep thought here, looking for the next stage choice of the matter. I do respect the Joker, but I mean, if he wants to come home and close it all the way through, I wouldn't mind seeing the Shulk. I do know that Nico does occasionally like to go characters like Krom every now and then, right? He does have a little bit of Richter every now and then, but we'll see where he goes, man. I mean, it could really go anywhere. I think that he would be fine sticking with the Joker. I think that would not be a bad idea because I think the big difference between Game 1 and Game 2 from Nico is that he really found the way to put on the damage, connected his combos, and when he put x in disadvantage, was able to keep him there, and that is why he was able to find those kills because he wasn't struggling to build up the damage the entire time. Right. Pretty good stuff. Well, Nico starts off nice and hot like my Caesar's Pizza. No sponsorship required. Immediately get this man into the corner, Kearney, and put some more back airs in the face. Dude, it's not just Little Caesars that's putting bacon on everything right now. Nico <laughs> is putting everything on this pizza. Exactly. And, he, of course, he needs to, right? He's one, one, one a piece, one of his quarters. There's not money in the line, but free MSM the whole year? Oh, man, I'll take it. I mean, that is basically <laughs> free money if you're going to be entering all of them anyways. That is a lot of dough. Yep. A lot of theoretical dough, mind you. Oh, man, can you imagine just entering MSM? You didn't pay for it. You win, like, a $1,000 <laughs> pop bonus. Like, the upcoming MSM that's going to be 200 soon. 10 MSMs away, by the way. So, yo, man, if you got that big pop bonus and you're Nico and you got that free MSM, it's like free money, virtually. Minus the stress, of course. But here, Nico's not going to stress that down air confirmed there and get the stock. Dude, Arsene extends your range so much. I mean, just after getting that stomp combo, which so many characters have now, and Joker even getting one of his own, that was looking like some DLC stuff right there, even if it <laughs> truly is. Indeed. <laughs> That's what Arsene feels like. He feels like the DLC within the character. That you <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, Joker feels fine, and then Arsene comes out, and you're like, ah, there's the DLC. <laughs> I understand now. 
All right, I like it. I'm trying to go for a landing neutral air that does confirm into a possible forward tilt or jab, as well as uh, can also follow up to another grab. Ooh. So Nico's looking for those combo options. And now Nico is catching this aggression from Exax. This is the situation that he's been looking for where a lot in that game one, Exax had the lead. Nico wasn't able to put him on the back foot mm -hmm. and make the inkling approach. But Oof. now he's able to set up that defense. And every single time Exax wants to approach, he has to go through a hail of bullets. Mm -hmm. And not only that, he didn't miss space that forward air, so he didn't drift back. So he got punished from the shield. That's what we saw the first game. He was making sure he had that space a little bit, making sure that Nico might have been caught for uh, going for a grab and then slip up and then get punished by something. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's now no longer whiff versus versus Whiff, it's Nico's Whiff versus X-Axis Approach. Tries to go for Ooh. a Tomahawk, did not pay kindly. Yeah, do not let him catch you whiffing when he has our sent out. That will be curtains for anybody at any percent. Oh, okay, yeah, speaking yeah, of it. curtains, yeah. Splat Roller is going to close out stocks reliably, especially catching landings. That's where Exax has been finding a lot of them and follows with that air dodge, but no follow-ups there on the platform. Just needs to reset oh. back to the neutral and a scramble situation. Boy, <laughs> I'm amazed that something brutal did not come out of that. All right, up throw gets a classic up air. I mean, the only reason why I call it classic is because it already feels that way. Another opportunity here, take him to the skies. Oh. Not Rashido just yet. Don't don't count your earnings. <laughs> Ten points. I won. <laughs> All right. Oh, I worked you. Send me the Rashido. Wrap, yeah. up, wrap up the stream, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm a Rashid man. You can't catch me like that. Um, good back air. Able to punish in that roller. X-Ax was feeling a little too comfortable with that. And now that Nico has definitely put <gasps> the... Oh, okay, that's big. But Arsene, no, Arsen came out at just the wrong time. He wanted to pull out the grappling hook and instead just took to the skies. I'm telling you, man, this man preemptively already trying to end the stream, man. Just give me, just give me the free MSN. Oh, my gosh. Two back airs, insane pressure on the shield, and a third one to knock Exax back off stage. But oh. Arsen is dwindling at this moment, and now, gone. Yep. All right, Nico now knows I got a whole shield just a tad longer when the roller comes out. Making sure I'm a little bit safe from it. Yo, man, thanks for the free meter. Thanks for the free stage. Get the corner carry gun downwards. No bullet storm just set, but catches the neutral uh, neutral landing there with a the neutral air. Yeah, now it's all up to Nico to just pick up one more situation at the ledge. I mean, especially if he gets our send, a forward tilt will do it. It's basically mm -hmm. Little Mac forward tilt at that point, and he could just now be looking for it with the inkling at the <laughs> ledge, just stands and <laughs> waits for him. Oh, man, he just stood there menacing. That's a classic tactic. No up air for you. I got the right DI, and, of course, high percent can jump out. I love that splat bomb to cover the platform, but Exact's not going to find anything out of it. And Nico is just swinging for that final kill. He says, you're light. You're at 152. Please just die already. Yep. I mean, Exax with the same thing finally gets the back air, but Nico put a lot of extra credit in the homework. Back air of his own off the stage. Nico has it all to himself, man. Is it current call just yet? Looking for the back air, though. Yo, the fact that Exax has brought this back to last stock and is still surviving is nuts to me. This is not a heavy character. You know what they you know what they call it, man, the will to keep on winning and you never wanna let go. <laughs> watch the spacing, but you gotta watch the downer XX with a small smirk on his face. Yo man, I saw that coming. <laughs> 